Okay, I'm back. And it looks like we got eight new migrants have come to join our fortress here, which is excellent. And the merchants are leaving. They did not have a good time spent here. Uh, yeah, I don't blame them, but I don't really care. They are, after all, elves. So, looks like Asmil, I want you to come inside. Once Asmil's inside, we'll go ahead. Oh, they're grabbing the wood, huh? Alright. So, once they're done stockpiling wood, we'll go ahead and put the uh, gate back up. Speaking of which, actually, <clears throat> from our unfortunate series of events from our last battle, uh, I found that our defenses are inadequate. They just won't suffice. So what I'm going to do right now is plan out a gatehouse. This is going to have uh, another drawbridge and a series of traps and uh, things to restrict travel into our base even further than before. Very important that we do this because uh, we're going to at least need traps at the front. So goblins that come in that are way too strong for our dwarves to handle, even though that's impossible. Obviously our dwarves can handle it, but at what cost, you know? So we're going to have uh, plenty of traps to catch these wily goblins and then show them a few uh, dwarven torture tricks, things that we like to do to goblins once we catch them. So we're going to have some fun here now, and the goblins are not going to have any fun. So what I'm going to do is begin working out a new fortress layout here, kind of like that. And uh, also it's going to include walls, of course. like that. And let's make this quite intimidating this time. And I would like to place. Oh yeah. Also, we had blinds. We have blind spots on our fort. That's not. That's not acceptable. So I'm going to be changing some things about how our fortress wall works. Okay. Uh, some of you have heard of the star fort design. Well, we're going to take that into consideration. That way we don't have any blind spots whatsoever. Now some of the dwarves are going to have a hard time reaching some of these corners here, but I'll figure that out in the future. And we're going to install another gate here, okay? And then possibly move the uh, trading posts into this region. Let's see here. I want to build a bridge. So we're going to go ahead and go to bridge here. Hit bridge. We're going to make the size of the bridge here. We're going to have it match the current size for that bridge. And then we'll uh, go ahead and have it raise to the east. And we'll also make this out of microlene. 
All right. So that'll do it. So our happy dwarves will go about building these new fortifications. And while they're doing that, we will go ahead and set up some traps. And uh, let's make some cage traps. And we'll set up a row of cage traps here. Like so. And uh, another row of cage traps right at the entrance there. And a couple of cage traps here. Alright. So we have a layered defense there as far as cage traps go. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and queue up a new order for cages. And of course we'll make them out of wood. And we'll make ten. So I just built 14 new cage traps. We're building another 10 cages because we have a stockpile of empty cages. I'm also going to place some restraints outside. There. And there. We're going to tether some more animals out there just to keep a watchful eye. Now our masons will begin working. I don't believe we're going to be as speedy. I don't have everybody set up as masons. Well, we'll see here. Yeah. Looks like we're going to need some ash. And uh, we'll make 15 ash. Let's see what all this stuff is. It's a lot. It's a big mess. That's what it is. Really big mess. So our military is faithfully going to watch. Watch out for our dwarves as they build this uh, outer gate. And this is kind of the idea I was going to put into place. Uh, just a starting idea. Just starting to add, like, star formations on the corners of our fortress. Kind of like this. And we'll see how this works out. We're going to have to like remove some of those fortifications up there. But we'll get to that.
Yes, our fortress is bloodied. There has been battle. It looks like they were firing all types of silver and iron ammunition at us. No, I can't do it. I think he's stuck. <laughs> Well, we'll get to you, buddy. Just hang in there. Alright, so the new migrants, uh, that new wave there, I'm going to go ahead and send them to be masons And uh, look at that. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but uh, let's see here. We'll go to nobles. Yeah, and it looks like the citizens of the Zonravad have replaced our expedition leader, Fizz Widget. He's now only relegated to manager, but it looks like the citizens have uh, voted for Ganon Steel to be our mayor. And Ganon Steel, Looks like you have uh, banned the export of low boots. So let's look at your personality here, Ganon. Alright, you're 80 years old, so you're a venerable dwarf. You're incredibly tough. You like brimstone, brass, plume agate, cacao wood, coral, boat, bolts, low boots, crowns, crutches, and dogs for their loyalty. When possible, you prefer to consume bay ray, bat ray, swamp whiskey, and quarry bush leaf bush leaves, and you absolutely detest lizards. Hmm. So there you go. Grounded in reality, dislikes intellectual discussions, <laughs> slow to trust others, candid and sincere in dealings with others. Let's look at some of your relationships. You don't have any friends, so certainly it wasn't your uh, socializing abilities that they voted for you to be your mayor. Perhaps it was some uh, birth of royalty, something of that nature. Uh, let's see here. You're going to need, we're going to need to work on your living quarters. Uh, in order to have a happy mayor, <laughs> we're going to need to do that, definitely. So, let's get on to that immediately. And uh, you're our mayor, but you're not our baron, so you're not going to get the royal tea chambers. But I do have, I do have this spacious room here for our royalty or people that require lots of stuff, basically. And uh, you require lots of stuff. You need an office. You need decent quarters, decent dining room. Well, we can go ahead and give you that decent dining room immediately. And here, you can sit here. There's the dining room. We'll sign the table to uh, Gannon Steel. There you are. All right, Gannon Steel. That should make you a little happier. 